Hey everybody, welcome back to another plan with me. I'm doing a, a spread in my memory keeping planner, which is a big size planner, and I'm doing it for um, February 8th through the 14th. This week I chose Cool to Be Kind. I had a lot of extra space, and I know that this book had some big quotes in it, so I wanted to use that to use up some extra space. And I also am pulling pressed florals for some flowers along with some of these as well. So to save time, I have pre-chosen some stickers. I know it's way more than I need, but I didn't know which quote I wanted. I didn't know which stickers I wanted. I didn't know if I wanted the wavy lines or these little brush stroke designed effects. So we're just going to jump right in and see how we go. Okay, so I have pulled some washi. I'm definitely not going to use all of it. These colors really match with the spread. So we'll see how we go, how we like it. All right. So now I want to quote right here. Or I can put it right here. Hmm. It's really hard. I always say this, but starting off is always so hard. These are single pictures, so all I need to do is figure out um, my washi tape for the top. So, um, let's see. We're going to add some blue. We can do this. Like that. And I think we'll add a tiny bit of this. Go over a little bit. And then just a smidge it. I think this should go underneath. this edge off. See how that looks. I'm going to raise the yellow up just a little bit so I can see it above the picture. Let's see. I think just a tiny bit more and I'm going to put it more on this side. Like that. One more time y'all. <laughs> Sorry being very indecisive with my washi. I think I like the way that that looks. And I actually might trim it just a little bit so I can see more of that washi tape. Yeah, I like that. So we're going to put this one down. That's a good start to the spread. Okay. Now, I um, forgot to show y'all, but in the pressed florals, there are these, and the reds match like perfectly. So I thought I might use those because I don't know when else I'd want to use those flowers. And they're big, and I'm trying to take up space. So I think it could work for my purposes today. Thinking for this one, we want that layered, but I wanted to put, where is it, this today sticker right above here. So let's lay this down, get my jelly roll, 
little bit on top too. Okay. Well, that's there. I'm going to need to figure out I want to layer in washi. Like under this picture. Hmm, maybe even do some pink. We'll see how that'll look. Maybe add a little yellow. I think that's pretty cute. We can lay that one down. So we're right up against the top. Cute. This should be dry. Took a little bit more space than I had planned, but I still think that that should be okay. So I'm going to put this one down. My tape's not wanting to work. Let's line this up. So. That one right there. All right, cute. So we got that one down. I think I want to add the same washi tape down here. Should have done that before I put the picture down, but I forgot. So let's do it like this and we'll just trim it off. So I'm going to take my X-Acto knife and we're just going to trim around these pictures. I'm going to have to go over it. Alright, let's see how we did. Alright, I like that. Let's do this bottom picture. I think I'm going to do it the same as I did up here with the blue. I think it might be too far. Should be good. I'm going to do the same with this one and trim off the bottom so I'll be able to see my washi layering that I'm going to do. Oops, just drop the washi. Layer this on the bottom. Just a little bit. Where's my card? And then some yellow. Okay. So we got that down, that down, we just need this section down. Let's see, 
think I might do the same pink that I did over here. So we'll do it along this top one. Oops, ah, that's not my card. Okay. All right, I like that. This one's gonna go like this. I need it higher. Just a little bit at the bottom here. Make it straight. Okay. So this one right here. All right. I like that. So we're gonna place our picture down. This one needs to go down first. So I'm just going to make a little divot of where it needs to go so I don't forget the placement. Right there. And then I'll just erase it. Okay. All right, all the pictures are down. And now we can worry about decor. I like this one right here. I also like the small one. I'm not sure. We have this whole space down here to work with. Maybe we should put this one right in the middle. And line out some lines as we go. This is definitely going to be a lot more white space than what I'm accustomed to. But I think it'll still be okay. I don't always need to fill up my memory keeping spreads. It might be good to have some white space. Grab this little bird, I thought it would be cute. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with some of these aligned florals from the Pressed Florals book. And I think I just want to do what I did in my last week and just go around these clusters of pictures that I have. So I'm going to white out a few lines before I push that down and then I'll trim around the picture. Okay. 
I have a little bit on this side that I want to do as well. If it wasn't such like a clear floral, I probably wouldn't care as much because those tiny lines wouldn't have gotten in the way as much, but I'm just going to do it now. Also, y'all, I had to go to a voiceover. There started to be too much noise going on outside, and I didn't want that to bother y'all. So, we're going to do a voiceover the rest of the video. I hope y'all don't mind. I'm going to trim above this washi so it looks like it's peeking out behind both the picture and the washi. I think. So I'm going to go in and add another of one of these big florals on the other side. I'm going to try and line it up to where I think it'll look cute. And then I'm going to have to white out that line before I press it down. trimming off the excess now. I'm going to save these scraps so I can see if I can find another place throughout the spread to place them. The tiny little ones I'll probably just trash, but these bigger pieces that I have, they definitely can go somewhere else. So I'm going to stick them on my little sticker sheet that I have over here. Cute. Okay. Now, we're going to go in with some of these decorative boxes and the journaling boxes that I have since I have all the pictures placed. I kind of have an idea of where I can do some decorating and where I need to do just some journaling. So I have this Be Your Own kind of beautiful, and I'm trying to figure out if I want it in the spread or not. I'm not sure. I know the font matches the other quotes that I have, but I've really just been in love with this quote. It was like the inspiration for the spread. So I'm going back and forth between which ones I want to use. I'm thinking I'm going to go with this one, so I'm going to white out some lines before I put it down. All right, we can place it down now. Now I'm going to go in with some more florals on this other cluster over here on the right side of the page. Figure out some places I can fill in. I think I'm going to go for this bottom corner first. And of course, I'm going to try and figure out how much of that white line or how much of that black line I need to white out. Just a little bit more. While that's drying, I'm going to try and figure out other placements for more florals so I can white out those lines as well. All right, now I can go in with this floral on this side. The whiteout should be dry, so we're going to place it down over here, and then we can trim off the excess that we have left. All right. And then we're going to grab that other floral that I had. And we're going to place that one down as well. Whenever I first got this pressed floral book, I wasn't too sure of these flowers. Um, they're not really my style. So the past week or two, especially in my memory keeping spreads, I've just been trying to figure out 
somewhere where I could use them so they don't go to waste. I think I've done a pretty good job. They're just so different, but I think they match the spread pretty well in the colors that I chose. So I'm glad that I went with that this week just so I can get them on the paper and not stuck in a book for the rest of their lives. <laughs> so I have some scraps here that I want to place down. So we're going to try and find some homes for them. I think those look cute where I just placed them. Alright, so I have majority of my florals down. I might want to add more, but for now I need to place my journaling stickers where I think I want them to go. And I think I'm going to go with this mustard color just because that blue today sticker on the right side of the page is on the top, I don't want more blue up there. So we're going to try and mix up these colors that we have and layer that quote on top of it. And I think that looks really pretty. So I pulled these um, checklists and I'm just using them as some like extra decor on the bottom of the picture. I'm going to grab some more, but I thought it was such a cool idea. Um, I've noticed some planner babes on Instagram do that sometimes, and I just, I would have never thought of that myself. Like, I'm so practical in my thinking that I would have just used it as checklist. So I figured I'd try it out this time and see how I liked it, and I really like the pop of color and dimension that it adds into the spread. So we're going to do that one more time over here. Just to add a little something, I think that looks really cute. So I have this um, journaling box that is the same um, style as those checklists that I just put down. So I think that matches perfectly up there. It ties in all the colors as well. And I think since I used those paints, that paint swatch texture, that I'm not going to use those wavy lines that I originally pulled out. But I do want to use some more of these little, like, library card looking stickers. I don't know what you'd call them, but I really like the design of them. I also have these colorful boxes pulled out. Um, since it is a student sticker book, it has, like, assignments and school-related stuff on the bottom. So I'm just going to trim that off so they can just be a plain colorful box with the designs of those paint strokes and I can place them where I need a little extra writing space. So I'm going to place this one down here. We're going to cut this one off as well and place it on the other side. See if I can find a place. I think it'll look good right there. All right. Let's see what else we need or what we could add. I'm not too sure of this sticker. It's just like bright red up there. So mm, we're going to remove it for now and see if there's something else we want to add or if we'll put it back, but for right now I'm liking the aesthetic of it without that big red box in the corner. I found the sticker Don't Give Up on Your Daydream. It's not the exact theme that's throughout the rest of the page, but it does have the colors, so I'm not too opposed to it. I think it's also a cute box to put right next to my son napping, so I think we might keep it there. Alright, now we're going to go in with a few more of these floral stickers. I have a few left on the page, and I kind of want to use them up as much as I can. So I'm going to take this smaller one and put it in that little area, I think, at the bottom, just to fill in some more space.
I'm gonna trim that off. All right. I'm trying to look around and see if there's anywhere else I can add. <clears throat> Excuse me. I can add some more of that floral element. Add a little extra piece there, so I'm going to trim that off. I'm going to take another tiny floral. I think it'll look good right over that corner just to give some extra dimension. Just trying to figure out what size I need. I'm kind of determined to use up all these stickers, but I'm not sure I'm going to be able to use that bigger one that's left on the page. But I'm going to cut these in half and just start placing them around the clusters that I already have got going on. Place this one over and like to cover up some of the white space that I have on the right side of the page. There's definitely a lot more than I'm used to and a lot more on the right side than the left side, so I'm just trying to even that out. Hmm. <clears throat> I think I might add this one over here. It's kind of bare on that side of the picture. And I think that is good for my um, florals that I want in here. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to add and I'm not sure. I think I might just about be done with this spread. But I'm just going to double check. I had this last flower left. And I'm thinking to cover up that white space, it would be nice to like layer it with this quote. And I think that would like definitely complete my spread. So I'm going to white out this line real quick. And then you're going to see me struggle to try and get this flower to work with that quote. So I'm trying to pull it up at the moment. I was hoping that it would look legible over that lined floral, but once I get it down, I'll realize that it's not legible at all or not to my liking. So I'm going to have to pour that poor quote sticker up a second time. I'm surprised it was working with me so well. But yeah, I finally get that floral down and then you see that yellow S in the T. You just can't tell. So I think I'm going to have to trim around the edge of the quote sticker and just have it like pop poking out like I do with the um clus the photo clusters that I have on my page. So at first I just did like a straight line down the floral but then I realized it's still bothering me. So I'm just going to do what I said and trace around that quote sticker and then pull the excess out and I think it should be fine after that. I'm really glad and surprised that that quote sticker survived through all that I just put it through. I had to trim some edges off of it because they started to curl up. But other than that, it looks really good. I'm pleased with how it came out. And um, all I need to do now is fill in my spread, which I will do 
I'm not sure if I want to keep doing after the pins in this on Instagram, but I will post a before or after the pin on Instagram if you want to check that out at Sassy Cassie Plans. And if you like this video, please like and consider subscribing if you haven't already. I thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in my next video. I hope you have a great day. Bye.